Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you to Mike and Holly Forder that came in from Creative Party um, last week. They came in, told us a little bit more about Creative Party, the origins of the company, and then they proceeded to have an argument on screen about who was the best cook. So um, it was all fun. It was great fun because um, they're father and daughter. So um, yeah, thank you guys for coming in. Really do appreciate it. Um, maybe we'll do it again at some point in the future. Now, we are very close to hitting 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I would beg you, if you've not subscribed to us on YouTube, please head over to YouTube, create a Google account if you don't have one already, find Balloon Market and just subscribe to us. It would mean a lot. It seems like yesterday we were at 1,000 and now we're at 5,000. And all of those of you out there that have subscribed already and do watch on a regular basis, Thank you. We really do appreciate it. And if you leave comments and everything, that is fantastic. So all around the world, I really do appreciate it. Now, speaking of all around the world, you might remember a few weeks ago, I said, OK, let's have a bit of a hello from competition. Hello from Canada. Hello from Ireland, whatever. So thank you to everybody that said hello from. I've got the results. Drum roll. OK, in joint fourth place. Are they, does this mean these are the friendliest countries? I'm not sure. Joint fourth place. We have Canada, India, Malta, Portugal, Mexico and Ireland. Yay! Joint third place. We have South Africa and Finland. Hopefully going to get over to Helsinki this year. Um, Australia on its own. Second place. And the winners, arguably the friendliest people in the world. UK and USA. Thank you everybody that played that silly little game of mine. But anytime you want to say hello from wherever you are, please just type hello from. And um, I like it. We love that. Now, Balloon Basics. Have you seen our Balloon Basics series of shows, of videos? They're, they're short little videos, two, three minutes max. And it's about the basics of the balloon industry. So when you start, you just don't know what you don't know. So for example, you might not know how to tie a knot. I'm, I'm notorious. I, I I struggle to tie knots, but I'm not doing it all the time. But when you first start, you've probably all fingers and thumbs. Well, there's a video that Mark has shown us how to tie a knot. I must point out, though, that it's the way Mark does it. And I know other people do it differently. So these aren't absolute rules. These aren't the way you have to do it. But it's a really good starting point. So um, he also showed us recently how to heat seal a balloon. I think that's the last one that's gone on there. I've heat sealed balloons before and they've gone down. Why? I don't know. So Mark showed us his technique of doing that. And there should be another one on there now, actually, that he did um, a couple of weeks ago with us. It was how to make a sand weight. I tried to make a sand weight once, just made a mess to make a sand weight. It was terrible. So Mark shows us his way and it, it just makes sense. It's just simple. But saying that, Mike from Reds was in um, a few weeks ago and he showed us his technique, which is very different to the way Mark does it, but just as good. So I, I think it's it's down to you. But these are the basics. These will help you get going. You could probably watch, the, I think there's 12 or 15 of them. You could probably watch them all in half an hour. They're that short. But uh, yeah, head over to our YouTube channel, click on playlists, click on balloon basics and have a look at those. Well, well if you've got any ideas, by the way, to add to those, please let us know and we'll, we'll, we'll try those out. Right now, what's going on in the world? Well, the 26th of March, we have Mother's Day. I must point out it's in the UK, 26th of March, Mother's Day is in the UK. I know it's different around the world. Um, so it's only a week and a bit away. We've, we're starting to run the stock down. So if you do want the biggest choice, um, head over to balloonmarket.co.uk, click on the big Mother's Day banner and you will see what is available right now. And then after that, we've got Easter. Easter's getting more and more popular every year for balloons for some reason. I guess if you turn a balloon upside down, it looks like an Easter egg. Oh, Easter eggs. Let me tell you this. We had something through the door at home. Hotel Chocolat. Have you ever heard of it? It's, it's a posh chocolate shop. And <laughs> this little brochure for Easter. They've got a, a one kilogram Easter egg. It, it's a one kilogram. That's a lot of chocolate. Even I would struggle to eat that in one go. And it, but it also comes with a box of chocolates. 75 pounds, I think it is. Um, but also, if you're my age, or around my age, so, you know, mid-twenties, you would probably remember when Easter eggs used to be this size, and you used to, a bit like wagon wheels, and you used to get the chocolates and, and bits inside the egg, whereas now you get a tiny little Easter egg in big packaging, and you get the crunchy beside it or something like that. Well, Hotel Chocolat, it looks like, anyway, on their website, they do the chocolates inside the Easter eggs, but, yeah, oh. Fantastic. Anyway, I digress. 
We have some Easter egg balloons here. Uh, I've got some latex Easter balloons. Got a couple of foils from uh, Qualitex, a couple of foils from Anagram, the ever popular sitting range. So we've got the sitting bunny there and party bags that you can create gifts and things to attach to a balloon and uh, sell it as a, as a whole um, and get those out uh, uh, on Easter Sunday or you know, a couple of days running up to Easter. Instead of just offering somebody an Easter egg, you could give them a, a gift, whatever that might be, in Easter sort of party bags attached to a balloon. Perfect. Now, this is a unicorn, if you weren't aware. Unicorns are very popular at the moment, if you weren't aware. And uh, so I thought I'd inflate this one and show you. But also, I wanted to show you that our two new party ranges. We've got the unicorn party range here, which is very colourful, very bright, probably geared towards the younger end of the market. And then we have the slightly older Unicorn Fantasy range. It's a bit more detailed, a bit more intricate. Or oh, adults even might like that. Adults might like that one. But they're both in stock now. And because unicorns are so, so popular at the moment, um, selling a lot of these. Now, going back to this one, you might have noticed this tail. It's got a tail, a fancy tail on the, on the bottom of the balloon. Now, in the, in the Spring Fair a few weeks ago, spoke to Chris Horn from Anagram and he says, he predicted 2017, we're gonna see more and more of these fancy tails off balloons. So rather than just a, a bit of ribbon, more fancy tails. And they've got these, twirls, these are called. Twirls with a Z. Anagram like the Zs, don't they? Cubes, orbs, diamonds, and now twirls. It comes as sort of a disc, it comes flat in, in these packets. And then you just sort of shake it out and you get, you get all of that. And it's just got a sticky bit at the top. I've just, I've intentionally not rolled that neck up as I would normally. And I've just stuck that sticker on the back. But you could roll the neck up and, and stick that to the bottom of the balloon. Um, but yeah, really fancy. It's all about adding value. I talk about that a lot. It's adding value. So could you charge an extra three, four, five pounds for that? Because it looks a lot fancier. You probably could. If you're decorating a venue, these on tables would look awesome around the room. Uh, really inexpensive, really good value, and they really do make a difference. So yes, we've got those in, in the blues, we've got them in the, the pink, not the pinks, that, that's grey. Greys, whites, blacks, multicoloured, say primary colours, and then we've got the reds, as well as this one on the unicorn here. Now the last product I want to show you is this. It's from Anagram again. It is the sparkling pink bunting that matches the sparkling pink balloons. Now these have gone really, really well. We've got these and we've got the gold and black and we've got the, um, the pink ones like this and we've got the, the bunting now to, to match that. Now the thing, one of the things, it's very practical, one of the things I do like about this is the packaging. It's sort of stuck on this piece of card. It's the four meters, by the way. Stuck on this piece of card and that just protects the bunting, the corner, the bottom, the pointy bit of the bunting. And if you are mailing things out, say you sell on eBay or Amazon or anything like that, that would go in an envelope and that would protect the bunting. It'd stop it from, from bending. So really like that from a practical point of view. But we've got all those in stock now, all the ages in pink and the gold and black range. Um, right, that's it from me this week. Question of the week. What is your favourite Easter egg of all time? Let me know. Put a comment down below on Facebook or on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please head over to YouTube and subscribe now. Help us get to 5,000. And I will speak to you next time. Thanks, bye.